All right, so um, I already went on ahead and you took my hole punch and uh, punched some holes and put, uh, I believe these are eighth inch uh, rivets um, that I'm gonna need to ha hammer into uh, the holes that I set. Um, but before that, just a, 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 a tip uh, for, well, you can't really pen together uh, pieces of leather uh, like your know, buckskin like you can with fabric so oftentimes you can use you know pine pitch uh, as a primitive um, source um, actually um, egg yolk is a is a pretty good uh, glue um, it's not water soluble it's, it's not waterproof but um, just to fasten some things together you can use egg yolk it takes a little bit to set um, and in this case you know for this demo I'm kinda going I'm doing I guess pretty modern so uh, I'm using super glue to tack these into places, the, to, pl to tack the, um, the the strap, the belt loops into into place, and then I took my hole punch and punched the holes, and then I just take my rivets and set. And these rivets rivets here are really small, um, but uh, there's a uh, there's a male and female part, so there's a, a, a male part with a, with a shaft there, and then the the cap. Um, is what you set into it and then you take a uh, a uh, anvil that's kind of got a concave uh, uh, inside or center and then you take your your hammer or your um, I don't know this this punch piece here that's also got a got a little bit of a concavity there and then you take a hammer or a mallet and you 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 clamp the two together so in this case, I've got my hole here, so I'm going to take uh, the the male part here and just stick it through the hole. Make sure that it's that the hole that the hole punch did its job. No, it didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and really have to um, clamp down on this. <clears throat> Make sure I get through both layers. That should have done it. If not, then I'll just go ahead and do single layer like this. Okay. Then I take the middle part and set it through, and then I'm going to take the cap and just put it on there. So now it's it's on here. Um, but it's not it's not fastened it's not um, solid yet so that's when you take your um, your anvil and just put it underneath it and you take your punch or rather you, you take your punch and then you take a mallet or a hammer and then just give it a couple of good sharp wags like that and that'll that'll tack it down and make it secure so I'm going to do this for all of these, and then this will be uh, done. This part will be done. Just set that in the anvil like this. Alright, and uh, there you go. So these are on here. They're fastened on here. I chose not to take the time to sew them on. Uh, I just want to uh, went on ahead and just quickly just um, riveted, riveted them down. So this is just an addition to the original that didn't have the belt loops. Um, this now has belt loops that you can fasten uh, to, a, to a belt and wear um, around on your back or in your hip. So the uh, next piece uh, part to this is I want to make sure that our buttonhole is going to work our button is going to work so I've got the button sewn on here and I made a buttonhole and so now I can put this through here fairly easily yep that works and so that's on there so we know that the uh, our button is going to work and it's going to um, it's gonna uh, hold fast. 
So the next piece to this is we are going to, oh, we've got our, our strip, our side piece here. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually, yep, yeah, and it's 14 inches, so yeah, that's good, that's good. So I'm going to sew um, this all the way around. And I'm just gonna ha I'm just going to do a running stitch all the way around. And this is um, actually I want this, yeah. So yeah, so I want I want it, ex I want this um, smooth side to smooth side. So I'm going to just stitch this. So when we turn it um, right side out, um, we'll we'll have a clean seam. So this is going to be the next step and I'm going to take some time and I'm going to go ahead and just do a running stitch and uh, let me get this on frame. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and do um, a running stitch and just uh, fasten this, uh, sew this together. All right, so I've um, taken the side and the back and put them shiny side to shiny side or smooth side to smooth side together. And I've decided that I'm just going to go ahead and do a uh, running stitch uh, so that we'll have a clean seam like this when it's turned right side in or right side out, excuse me. Um, and then we'll do something different when we attach the front. But for now, I just wanted to show you that this is an option. This is an option uh, to stitch it this way. I could have uh, done it so that it was um, rough side to rough side. Uh, together and done a whip stitch that would have given a different effect um, or a different look especially with um, this artificial sinew or the, the yellow against the black here so it's it's up to you there's different type of stitching uh, that you can choose to use uh, I'm just using a running stitch with this um, S needle or Glover's needle and uh, if this was a primitive project then I would use a bone awl uh, and a needle and add some um, uh, plant fibers or actual real uh, animal sinew or tendon to sew it together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue stitching this along um, all the way up to this point. Another thing is another tip or trick is oftentimes when you want edges to match, especially with with um, with leather, and I didn't want you know you can't really pin it together, and I didn't want to glue it together because of the rough. Uh, because of the, uh, the, the the way that this will wrap around the curve. I went on ahead and just stitched the edge together. And that will keep it in place. It will just pin it in place until um, I match it. Until I sew all the way up to this point. Okay, So that's just a little tip there. And you may want to do that. Because sometimes if you don't, what can happen is your your material can slip. And by the time you get to the end, you may be a quarter of an inch or just even way off. And... Now you kind of have to undo everything and try again. So this stitching in place at the at the end point or tacking it down in some way helps. You can use a clothespin, that would work too. A paper clip would work uh, to um, make sure the ends match. All right, so um, I'm done with the stitching here and then I'm just flipping it uh, right side out and this is the seam that we get uh, looks pretty nice now technically if this was going to be a heavy duty pouch something I would wear all the time I probably if I'm going to do this type of stitching I'd want to add a welt which would um, help protect the thread uh, and and also increase the life uh, of the um, of the pouch itself and a welt would just be another th third piece of leather that's in between these two pieces here um, but I didn't I didn't do that this time and and um, this is just really more for demonstration versus actual you utilitarian use if that was the case then I would add a weld um, anyways um, next what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, attach the front okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna be lacing the seam uh, for a r rustic look uh, and so what I want to want to do this time is I am going to want to, to glue this together so I can punch the holes for the the lacing so that's um, 
that's going to be the next step. It's going to be a little, little bit of a, of, of a job, um, but for that sort of thing, that's why you just kind of put a, a movie on or an audio book and, and you um, just listen to it as you as you punch holes through it. But first, I'm going to take some um, some commercial um, super glue here, and I'm just going to kind of tack it in particular places and then pinch this together so that it'll hold so that while I'm making the hole punches around it'll stay together and I won't have too much difficulty. Uh, let's see, uh, that'll be the next step.